It's your clear and uh, weather go. Power to command. The first to break the line goes ahead of Rock With Me. Escadrill is up there in third spot. Magari improving position on the far side with the favourite Imperial Rage. They were followed by Mindfield, a length back to Black Orlov. Three parts of a length further back. The outside is Cassius Colt. Then comes Wisp of Light. They're stretching out. Stunning Guest is racing back third to last, followed only by Noble Flight and Thrace as they straighten up and head down the back stretch with about 1,500 metres left to go. Power to command is the leader by length and a quarter. Magari is quite keen on the outside in second. Rock with me as the run of the fence in third. Then follows Imperial Rage. Anton Marcus has got him just three and a half lengths from the leader. Escadrill is a neck back along his inside. They followed by Mindfield. Then comes Black Orlov. Further back to Cassius Colt. Then follows Wisp of Glory. Stunning guest. Noble flight. Thrace and uh, Jumping Castle has dropped to the rear of the field and just can't go with them. Anton Marcus now presses the button on Imperial Rage, and Imperial Rage goes to the lead as they head halfway around the turn with 800 metres to go. Power to command is back in second. Rock with me is third. Magari is fourth. Two lengths further back to Mindfield, racing along the outside of Escadrill, who's starting to slip back through the field. Then comes Cassius Colt. Black all of in behind the stunning guest, Wisp of Light. The rest are quite some way back as they straighten up and head for the judge. 500 metres to go. Imperial Rage is the leader. Behind that rock with me, they followed by Magari. Then power to command Escadrill and Cassius Colt is towards the inside as they come inside the final 300 metres. Imperial Rage in front, but Anton Marcus is hard at work. Cassius Colt looks a lively threat down his inside. Then rock with me, we've got a three-cornered contest. Cassius Colt along the inside. Imperial Rage, though, keeps on finding. Imperial Rage finds more to win it. Imperial Rage by half a length from Cassius Colt. Rock with me in power to command then came stunning guest minefield escadrill noble flight then magari behind that thrace wisp of glory jumping castle and black all of well i fancy that anton marcus has once again earned his riding fee here he committed he committed going into the far corner with about 900 meters to go that might have been the winning move Cassius Colt loomed up a danger with 200 to go, but Imperial Rage continued to find more under the powerful urgings of Anton Marcus. Win it comfortably in the end, uh, but it wasn't so comfortable with 200 to go. Rock With Me finishes third, Power to Command fourth, and Stunning Guest back there in fifth position. So, all things going according to plan here at Hollywood Bet Scottsville so far today. Certainly a very popular winner of the first leg of the pick six today, Imperial Rage took the lead from fourth position into first at about the 900 meters mark, but Anton Marcus had to drive him all the way down the straight. Cassius Colt loomed up along his inside. Rock With Me was ever present on his outside. Those three pulled clear of power to command. It looked as if it might still be a close tussle when they came to the 200, but Imperial Rage pulled out all the stops, as did Anton Marcus, to land the odds by a half to three quarters of a length from Cassius Colt in second, Rock With Me in third, and Power to Command in fourth, as we say goodbye for the time being and head you back to the Teletrack Studios in Ravonia. Well, as they say in the classics, the hits just keep coming. For the favorite backers and Imperial Rage, the judge part has pulled out that little bit extra and he's come through as the good favorite to win. Now, watching him go down to the start, he looks like he's got a bit of an action. Yeah, he's a bit of a funny horse, uh, to be honest with you. He doesn't show much at him at all. Um, Anton did gallop him. He's come and worked him a couple of times. And he just shows nothing at all. So you're a bit worried. But if he brought his Cape Town form today, he was obviously those to beat. Well done to Justin for Mark and all his clients. Well done to them. Anton seemed to make the winning move at the right moment, which he 9 out of 10 turns. Yeah, I think it was going a bit slow. So he obviously pulled around and made his own pace. So well done, team. And thank you very much for a good ride. I think you've just got a patchy dream left. Yeah, she's drawn well. Um, a little bit disappointed in her last run. I'm hoping for an improved run today. Super. Thank you. Anton Mar Marcus, once again, man of the moment. Now, they're just mentioning he's quite a funny horse back home. <laughs> he doesn't show too much. You know, it's strange enough, he's actually quite aggressive at home. You know, that's, I wasn't quite sure of my reservations about the trip, you know. And then I saw they ran him over at 2-4. That's why I just suggested to John that they... They put the earmuffs on him, you know. And I'm not saying that made the difference, but he was, he was nice and relaxed, you know. And uh, they were going a bit slow for him. 
and uh, I took a chance. And fortunately, I was on the best horse in the race, Sheldon. That last hundred, when the apprentice moved up, he just kept his head in front. No, look, I was, I was treading water. I could have taken the lead role in the Titanic, <laughs> yeah, not at DiCaprio. But, uh, you know, just thankfully, I was, I was on the right horse. Jack never came back, but you did. Well done. Thank you so much, Sheldon. Well done to Anton Marcus there with the Titanic. Jack went down, but Imperial Rage came back. And in the winning groom in Cozy Corner, Jack, thanks very much to Andy Siwe. Going to hand over that 1,000 Rand token. Hollywood Bets in Gold Circle. Imperial Rage, the hits keep coming at Hollywood Bets Scottsville. The favourites just keep hitting the winner's box.